All right, I promised I could teach you to do two-digit multiplication in your head with ease. Let me start with a simple technique for multiplying numbers that are near 10, and you'll see just how easy it is. So I've got a problem up here, 12 times 13. It's one most people don't have memorized, so it's a good place for us to start. And if you remember how to do this the traditional way, the way most of us learned it when we were in school, you do 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3, you put your placeholder 0 there, and then you do 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1, you add them together, and hopefully you get the right answer, 156. Now that's a lot of steps, but we get the right answer. It requires pencil and paper or marker board and marker. It's not something that's easy to do in your head, but it works. I'm going to show you the way that makes this completely simple. There's the problem again. Now these numbers are both near 10, so we're going to use that to our advantage. We're going to say, how far are these numbers from 10? Well, 12 is 2 more than 10, and 13 is 3 more than 10. That was easy. And I'm going to add diagonally 13 plus 2 and get 15, and write that in. And then I'm going to multiply coming down, like this. 3 times 2 is 6, and there's my answer, 156. Just like that, one line, no need to do all this extra work, no need to line things up in columns and add. I just get the answer in two quick and easy steps. Now that I've shown you the super simple way to multiply two digit numbers that are near 10, one of the questions that always comes up is, well, how does that work? Why does that work? And that's another great side effect of our curriculum is that these things are so amazing that kids want to know, how does it work? So it spawns extra questions, it spawns a deeper understanding of how math works and why it works the way it does. Let me give you a quick explanation in a picture. Imagine a rectangle. That's 12 units on this side and 13 on this side. And you would agree the area of this rectangle is going to be 12 times 13. That was the problem we were doing. If I divide it cleverly, right here, so it's 10 and 3 and 10 and 2, and then we look at the areas in this problem, we'll see that, well here, it's 10 by 10 area. That's easy, that's 100. This rectangle here is 3 by 10. That's 30. That's another easy multiplication. This rectangle at the bottom is 2 by 10. So it's 20. Another easy multiplication. And this last little bit is 2 times 3, which is 6. We have to add that all up. 130 plus 20 plus 6, 156. And you can see in that 12 times 13 problem, that's exactly what we did. We did the 13 plus the 2, we got the 15. We did the 2 times 3 to get the 6, and we were done. So it was just a shortcut for adding all this stuff up in two easy steps. That's how we teach math here at Math Plus Academy. Now, imagine how far your kids could go if they started to learn math like this and understand how it works at an early age. I cannot tell you how many times parents come to me and say, I wish someone would have taught me this when I was younger. It would have changed my attitude about math. It would have changed my performance in math. It might have even changed what I became because I would have liked math. This is what we do at Math Plus Academy. We show kids the easier way to do things. We make it fun. We make it interesting. And we give them an advantage that's going to push them ahead of their peers in school and allow them to be anything that they want.